Hello! Welcome to Borderline Games. Today we'll be playing Trigger Happy Havoc Danganronpa. Now I have played this before. Or I've played the beginning at least. But, um, logic difficulty. Something's kind. Yeah, I've played this before, but um, it was so long ago that I, I don't remember. I didn't get very far in it anyway, so let's start again. Trigger Happy Havoc. The massive high school towers over all the other buildings in this bustling urban area. It's like the school stands at the centre of the ent entire world. Hope's Peak a Academy. It brings in top students from every field imaginable. A government-funded school of privilege. They say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a very uh, a pretty fitting name. There are two things you need to attend this school. One, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. No ordinary student could enroll here. The only way in is if you are scouted by the school itself. And standing there at the gate of the ultimate school filled with the ultimate students... ...was me. Before we go any farther, I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Makoto Naegi. As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopelessly average high school student. Average on the outside, average on the inside. I really don't have much going for me when it comes to grades, special abilities, even personality. I mean, yeah, I have hobbies. And stuff I like to do. But it's not like I'm a psychic or a mutant or whatever. Like, if you ask me what my favourite song was, or my favourite movie or TV show, they'd all just be whatever's most popular at that particular moment. Even among the average, I'm completely average, so I can't even say I'm your everyday uh, hero type. That's just who I am. Anyway, I figure it's always good to introduce yourself right off the bat. But you know, if I have any kind of strong point, so to speak, I'd say I'm a little more gung-ho than other people. I mean, look at me. I'm, com I'm completely ordinary, but still. Here I am, standing in front of the anything but ordinary Hope's Peak Academy. I still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me can survive in a place like this. It's got this overwhelming presence, like it's trying to swallow me whole. But it's no wonder I would feel that way. What you have to understand is... Well, let me just tell you about the preparation I did last night to get ready for today. Hope's Peak only invites such students, those students who are the truly elite in their field. 
It's such a popular topic. There are threads online dedicated to talking about the school's attendees. So to prepare, I looked up some of those threads. And all I saw was talk about ultimate students who were way beyond your average high schooler. For example, one incoming student is the ultimate pop sensation. I guess she's a high school, uh, a high school girl who's also the lead singer for a pop group famous all over the country. There's also the ultimate baseball star. He was the cleanup hitter for the national high school champs. Pro teams already have their eyes on him. Then there's the ultimate fashionista. She's been on the cover of tons of fashion ma magazines. She's what every high school girl wants to be. Oh, and he mentioned the ultimate biker gang leader too. The scary thing is, he's the de facto leader of every biker gang in Japan. Gangs everywhere love the guy. On top of that, there's the ultimate martial artist, the ultimate fanfic creator, the ultimate gambler, the ultimate swimming pro, the ultimate programmer, the ultimate clairvoyant, and then some. Reading that made me realise how totally powerless it was. It was the country's finest, top to bottom. I felt like a tame little house cat who'd wandered into a pride of lions. But still, there was something I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there were a few students who I couldn't find any info on, no matter how much I looked. With all those ultimate students, I'm the, one, I'm the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. But then, what about those other new students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Could they be just the average students like me, without any talent or anything? That thought was uh, kind of encouraging. I mean, I know I don't have much in the way of personality. But beyond that, there's an even bigger issue. How did such an unbelievably average student like me get picked to come to this ultimate high school? I mean, I guess there is a reason. You just have to take one glance at, at the acceptance letter they sent me to see why. We recently held a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend our school. As a result, you have been selected and we invite you to join us as the ultimate lucky student. They spelled it out, plain as day. I got invited by pure luck. Maybe that's, maybe that's your speciality. Honestly, I probably would have been better off just declining their offer. But after hearing how graduating was a guarantee for success later in life, I just couldn't say no. But then actually standing there in front of the school, I started to feel lost, like I didn't belong there. I could feel myself losing my nerve. But still, I can't just stand here in front of the gate forever. Frozen in place, murmuring to myself, I looked down at the acceptance letter clutched in my hand. It said there'd be a meeting for all incoming students in the main hall at 8am. The meeting still isn't for a little while, but I should probably just head in. Yeah, yeah, let's do this. I gathered up all my determination and tried to act like I'd done this a million times before. And I took my first step towards the, uh, toward the main hall. This is where I was supposed to meet, right? Let's move me... Here? This is a place? to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. There's a really elegant clock tap over in the corner. It says it's 7.10am. The meeting doesn't start until 8 o'clock, so there's still a full 50 minutes left. It makes sense nobody else will be here yet. I was so wound up I got here way too early. I have plenty of time before the meeting. Just standing around waiting isn't exactly... 
I should take a look around the school. Maybe that will help me calm down a little. I am a student here now, so there shouldn't be any problem with me having a look around, right? It'll help me pull some time, if nothing else. Trying to play it cool. I took my first step into Hope Peaks Academy. Hope's Peak Academy. It was also my first step towards starting a new life at a new school. At least that's what I was hoping for. Oh shit. What the? But the instant I took the first step forward, my view became warped and twisted. It was like some kind of delusion melting away and mixing together in some, into something else. Spinning, mixing, melting away, then spinning again. And the next moment, everything went black. That was how it all began. And how life as I knew it came to an end. At that point, I should have realised. The reason I was brought to Hope's Peak Academy wasn't because I had ultimate luck. It was so I could experience ultimate despair. Welcome to despair. <laughs> despair High School. Yes, I do want to save. Oh. Derek, here is your reminder. Take a tablet. I will do. Alexa, stop. Never, never gonna. <sighs> what? Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body feels... heavy. It's pretty normal for me to zonk off in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but... What was I doing to sleep here just now? This isn't a classroom I've ever been in before. What the heck is going on? Welcome to Hope's Peak Academy. Firstly, we'd like to explain the basic controls. You can use the mouse to adjust your aim. If you aim at an object you can interact with, you can press the left mouse button. And presto, you'll investigate that object. Use the WASD buttons to adjust your viewpoint. Or you can press and hold the right mouse button and move the mouse around. Why don't you try looking around the classroom? Is that a surveillance camera? It's a dangerous world we live in. I guess they have to keep these things, keep weirdos from just wandering in. Let's look at this. What the heck? In a normal classroom, that's where a window should be. But it looks like some kind of metal plate has been bolted over it. And if I were to knock on it... Bang bang. Yep. Definitely metal. Thick too, very solid. Wait, that's not what matters here. More importantly, why are there metal plates over the windows? That's the desk I fell asleep on. I can still see a line of drool I must have left there. I'll have to clean that up later. Hey, what's that on the desk? The next semester is about to start. Starting today, this school will be your entire world. An orientation guide. It's some kind of cheap looking pamphlet. And there's something handwritten on it. I'll just write that. The next semester is about to start. Starting today, this school will be your entire world. What the hell? Is this somebody's idea as a joke? Of a joke? Even. What else can I click on? Jeez, I can't believe it's already 8 o'clock. It was just after 7 when I first got here. Has it really been almost an hour since then? Okay, let's see. So what might have happened is, I got myself so wound up I passed out in the main hall, and then somebody carried me here. If that's true, it must mean it's a classroom inside Hope's Peak. But then if that's true, that just raises more questions. This is all really strange. I mean, those metal plates covering the windows, it's like a prison or something. None of this makes any sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. It's already past the meeting time. There might be other students there now. 
can leave the classroom by pressing the R key. Okay. Uh, any more clues? There's a TV. The school is funded by the national government, so I guess it's not that weird to have TVs in here. Something feels off. I wonder what it is. Okay. Leave the area. Absolutely. Jeez, this hallway is kind of weird too. It's getting strange about the second. I must have no idea what's going on. Oh, how do I turn the auto off? Okay. Well, for now, I'll just head to the main hall. Okay. Hold the shift down while moving to run. Also, you can press the tab key to bring up the map. Press the tab key again to close the map. How convenient. Really weird. Uh, okay, let's see what we out. Oh, I see. That's what I should do. Uh, okay, so this is the classroom we just came out of. Room 1B. The door's locked tight. By the time I got back to the main hall, everyone else was already there. Whoa, hey! Another new kid? Huh? Then you guys are all... I should try and make my voice more like, uh... Like that. Like a little boys. Yeah. We're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. So, counting him, that makes 15. Seems like a good cutoff point, but I wonder if this is everyone. Standing before me were the ultimate students. They had been handpicked by the school. I looked around at everyone who'd gathered there, taking in their faces one at a time. Maybe I was just imagining it, but I swear I could feel a kind of aura coming from each of them. <laughs> I like how they sprang up. Uh, How's it going? My name is Makoto Naigi. Sorry I'm late. A bunch of stuff happened and then all of a sudden I was just asleep. Huh? Whoa, you too. Hmm. Things just keep getting curiouser and curiouser. Mm-hmm. So strange. I declare beyond a shadow of a doubt that this is a strange situation indeed. Um, what are you talking about? I honestly have no idea what's going on right now. Got it! Just a moment. There's something else we must address. Listen to me! Nakoto, your tidiness is unacceptable. Surely you were aware the meeting was to start at 8am sharp. To be late on your first day is unspeakable. I must report you and you must accept your due punishment. What? What's your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over it. That's right! Everyone, just calm down. Listen, why don't we all go around and introduce ourselves? Huh? Too many characters. The hell? Now is no time for friggin' introductions. <laughs> maybe. But it may be a good, uh, good to at least find out who we all are before digging into the bigger problems here. I mean, how are we even supposed to talk to each other if we do not know each other's names? Y yeah. That's a good point. Um... Okay. So let's get introductions out of the way. Then we can move on to whatever's, uh, whatever else. Sound good? I'm still totally lost. But I think it's best to just focus on getting to know each other for now. So I guess it's a good chance as any, as I'm going to get. I already looked everyone up on that Hope Speak Academy thread online, but I still don't really know what kind of people they actually are. Time to find out. I'll start by talking to those five over there. Aim at the students and press the left mouse button to talk to them. 
each conversation is important to the overall story, so keep track of how they go. This is my favourite so far. Kiyotaka... Kiyotaka Ishimaru. Ishimaru. I'm Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I believe in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. So intense. Ultimate Marvel Conquers. So that's Kiyotaka. According to what I saw about him on that thread, he went to a famous private school and won top honours every year. He's basically a flawless honour student. He's also known for the work he's done with his communities, uh, his community's public morals community committee. They say he respects rules above all else, earning him the title of Ultimate Moral Compass. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, you can call me Taka. You said your name was Makatu Naidi, right? <laughs> That's a good name. A strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. You hear me? And to keep that name from losing its value, you must devote yourself every single day. Got it! Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into it. Right? Right! This guy is kind of annoying. Okay. Not that you'll remember my name anyway, but I'm Toko. Toko Fukawa. <laughs> the ultimate writing prodigy. Yeah, she wrote a novel about uh, when she was 10 that got everyone talking and launched her literary career. Then two years ago she released So Long Is The Ocean, a love story said to be her masterpiece. The book was such a hit that women and fishermen quickly shot to the top of every hottest men pole. Despite her rage, she's won countless literary prizes and all of her books are instant bestsellers. Which is why she's come to be known as the ultimate writing prodigy. What else would you call such a young and talented author? But I figured she'd be a lovey-dovey type. What with her masterpiece being a romance and all. <laughs> What's your problem? What? It's, it's not... How polite to stare, you know. So, stop heck? staring at me like I'm some filthy creature. Filthy creature? No, no, I just thought... <laughs> I know what you j just thought. You just just thought you've never never seen an ugly woman. You just th thought it was so funny. No, no, that's, that's not what I was thinking at all. <laughs> Don't you. bother trying to l lie to me. I, I know it's true, otherwise you... I know you can't stand looking at me. Anyway... Whatever. I don't really care. I'm... I'm used to it. Wow. Talk about the Inferior Auto Complex. I was way off about what a successful author could be, could be like. Hi. I'm Sayaka Maizona. I look forward to getting to know you. The way she moves is positively mesmerizing, and that pleasant sense is can't quite place. Sayaka Mai Maya Zono. Sayaka, Sayaka Maya Zono. When I saw her name in that thread online, frankly, I was pretty surprised. She's in a pop group famous all across the country. In fact, she's their lead singer. As the ultimate pop sensation, she's in high demand to appear on TV and in magazines everywhere. But actually, that's not the only reason I was so surprised to find out she'd be going to the school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but... Well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's very beautiful. Almost like a doll or something. <laughs> I'm not a doll, you know. I'm alive! Huh? Did, did you hear me? I... I'm psychic. Huh? <laughs> Bidding! I just have really good intuition. It's a good joke. She's a sharp one. Hey, um... Huh? Hey, by any chance? Now what? Huh? Yeah, it must be, I'm sure of it. Hey, Makoto, did... Just hold on! Jeez, you guys. How long do you plan to waste our valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth? Uh, um... So, sorry, we just got carried away, I guess. You hear me? Self-introductions are for introducing yourself, not bumbling through a bunch of idle chit-chat. Um... Yeah, you're right. Sorry. Sorry, Makoto. We can talk about this later. It sounded like Sayaka really had something she wanted to say, but it's not like we'll ever see each other again. Like she said, we can talk later. It's not like we'll see each other again. Leon Kuwata. Leon Kuwata. Leon Kuwata. Yo, the name's Leon Kuwata. What's up? What's up? <laughs> I 
recognize that name. He played for the National High School Champs as their cleanup hitter, the ultimate baseball star. And that superb athletic specimen is... You? Seriously? Huh? Huh? What's wrong? Uh, nothing, I'm just surprised. I figured with you being the ultimate baseball star and all... Give me a break. What? Were you expecting some kid with a shaved head? Sh shaved head? No, I was just expecting more of a, you know, sporty looking traditional baseball player type. I mean, when I found the article and picture of you online, that's how you looked then. <laughs> what? Oh man, you found that picture of me playing baseball, seriously. I hate that picture. What the crap? This is not cool. This is so not cool. Seriously, I'm like mega embarrassed right now. I didn't have a choice, okay? Shaving your head like that is part of the national championship rega uh, regulations. I mean, seriously? But now I refuse to cut my hair. And I'm not going to dye it back to normal either. Hey, listen. Actually, can I be totally honest with you? You know... I don't like baseball. Like, at all. I've never gone to a single practice. He's never practiced and he's... He was still this team star player. He's some kind of prodigy. Yeah! <laughs> And as soon as I got accepted here, I quit baseball for good. I have my own dream for the future. A dream for the future? <laughs> my only path in life is getting into music. You can feel that star quality aura I have, right? You know what I mean. I'm gonna be a singer. So all I need is a songwriter and someone on guitar and we're set. How cool is that? This new version of me that's chasing after my dream is like super cool to the max. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I never imagined I'd hear someone, something like that from a baseball all-star. Hifumi Yamada. I am Hifumi Yamada. <laughs> but if you want to call me by my nickname... The Alpha and the Omega! I don't mind. Mm -hmm. By the way... How much do you want to, uh, how much do you know about the world of 2D art? World of 2D? <laughs> well, in that case, I'm well more well known and supremely well regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. Mm-hmm. I once sold 10,000 copies of one of my fanfic comics at a school festival. The event was passed into legend. Hmm. Some of them didn't get it, of course, saying I'd tainted the event. How stupid can you be? That's too bad about them, but selling 10,000 copies like that is definitely pretty remarkable. However... The words of such idiots mean nothing to me. I am like Van Gogh, utterly unappreciated in my time. I am a soldier, serving night and day to destroy all mindless pre preconceptions about fanfiction. I'm sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Naegi, you would comprehend its great, uh, greatness immediately. Mm-hmm. For my work is filled with deepest meaning. What kind of meaning? Yes, indeed. It's about embracing our basest urges. I don't think I want to comprehend that. Okay, now to talk to those five people over there. Okay. Hey, ya! I'm Aoi Asahina, but my friends just call me Hina. What's up? Ayoi Asash Asashina? Asahina? Awa Ayoi Ayoi Asahina. She's been breaking records in every competition she's been in since element since elementary school. She's even curious at uh she she's even been chosen as an upcoming Olympic candidate. She is without a doubt the ultimate swimming pro. The combination of her ability, appearance and um, proportions has been widely discussed online. Mm. So uh what was your name again? Sorry, totally forgot. Makoto Naiji. <laughs> oh yeah, I knew it was something like that. No, not something like that. It is that. You got it! Sure, sure, got it. Here, I'll hammer it into my brain right now. Yeah! Makoto Naiji. Makoto Naiji. She just kept repeating my name and moving her finger across her palm like she was writing something. What are you doing? Huh? <laughs> you don't know. If you want to remember someone's name, you've got to write it into your hand three times. I've never heard of that before in my life. Hmm. Hey, 
By the way, how do you spell your last name? You spell it exactly like it sounds. Mm. Mm. <laughs> well, I have no idea. <laughs> I'll just figure it out later and write it down. Okay. Anyway, glad to meet you. <laughs> sure, same here. Well, one thing I learned is she's totally easygoing and bursting with energy. I'm not learning much about each character here. Hello, nice to meet part. you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. Sorry, I get kind of embarrassed when I, whenever I introduce myself like this. <laughs> anyway, I hope we can get along. Same here. Nice to meet you. Huh? Huh? Maybe it's just my imagination, but have we met before? Hmm. I don't think so. We just met for the first time, which is why I said nice to meet you. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Good point. Sorry. You, you don't have to apologize for that. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Jahiro Fujisaki is known for, the, uh, for all the cutting-edge programs she's created. She's the ultimate programmer. She's also got that timid little bunny type thing going, which has endeared her to her legion of fans. Um... Hey, so listen. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I'm really sorry. Uh, what are you apologising for now? Um... Well, just because she seemed upset. You must be mad at me, right? No, not at all. I'm just lost in thought about something. Huh? Huh? Lost in thought? Yeah, it had nothing to do with me being upset or anything. Thank you. Oh, that's good. I was afraid maybe you didn't like me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. I'm starting to understand why her fans are so into her. <laughs> um, can I ask your name? My name is Kyoko Kirigiri. Pretty tight lip, huh? Oh, but you know. Name didn't show up anywhere in that Hope's Peak Academy thread. And I did see that there were students like me, ones who didn't have any real identity or presence. Could this girl be one of them? The ultimate silence person. Uh, so what are you doing at this school? What? What's that supposed to mean? No, I just mean getting invited here uh, means you're some kind of ultimate something, right? So what ultimate something are you? That doesn't matter. Why should I tell you? Huh? Ultimate secret keeper. Well, I guess you don't have to tell me. <sighs> no, I don't have to tell you. So I'm not going to. Nothing about her turned up online, so I was thinking maybe she got picked by chance like me, but... Face is like an iron mask. If she doesn't want to tell me anything, no point in asking. Okay. Secrets. Hi! I'm Junko Enishima. Charmed, I'm sure. Ultimate fashion is done. Anybody would recognize this one. She's got more charm and presence than any high school girl in the country. She's the ultimate fashionista. She's seen her... She's... I've seen her on tons of magazine covers, but... I feel like that doesn't ma quite match up to reality. What? Huh? Come on. Oh, are you talking about my cover photos in junk? <laughs> <laughs> well, of course. They're totally photoshopped. Photoshopped? Yeah, you know. Edited to hell and back. With, like, computers and junk? Oh, so they aren't real. What can we do? Come on, don't act so surprised. You're gonna make me all depressed. Totally! It's totally normal these days to photoshop the crap out of these cover photos. If you're surprised by that, you'll be totally blown away by a certain dangerous little diva of ours. <laughs> they make the eyes and junk super big and tweak the skin so it looks ceramic and porcelain. Oh. So many dreams are getting crushed today. Name's Who's Mondo Awada. Nice to fucking meet you. <laughs> He's my favorite. He's my favorite. 
under our order, huh? Which means he's the current leader of the largest biker gang in Japan. He's earned respect, even awe, from every gang in the country. He's the ultimate, bang, uh, ultimate biker gang leader. Um, nice to meet you too. Yo. Hell yeah. You better be careful around him. One one word. I could wake up in the bottom of the sea. Done. Oh, we've got more. Those four over there are the only ones left. So many characters. I am Sakura Ogami. Okay. Oh jeez, that was faster if uh, she was a guy. There, I saw something like that out loud. Say something like that out loud. Is the guy got turned into a human meatball? But now I remember, she competed in a martial arts tournament in America and won despite being a girl. She's the ultimate martial artist. She's fought in over 400 matches and never lost a single one. That thread also said a bit more about her. Some call her Ogre. Some even think she's the closest known relative to the primates, the famed Missing Link. Any incoming Hope Speak students who are reading this, let me warn you right now. If you value, value your life, avoid her at all costs. Huh. Standing in front of her now, I don't think they were exaggerating about that. Hey! Hey, you! Huh? Yes? I snapped to the attention without even I snapped to attention without even realizing it. Then she starts to poke and prod at my body. Uh what are you? I see. Muscular quality and quantity is right around that of an extremely ordinary high school student. Hmm. Hmm. What a shame. You're not at all fit to act as my training partner. I'm not sure that's such a shame for me. Okay. Name's Byakuya Togami. Hi, uh, nice to meet you. That's the most half fast introduction I've ever heard. But there isn't really anything I can do about it. Even among the ultimate students, this one is special. By Akuya Togami, he's the heir, uh, the heir apparent of his uh, family's massive financial conglomerate. The heir apparent? He's already started managing business operations and his own personal assets are, well, vast. His title of the ultimate affluent uh, progeny is completely accurate. He's the definition of exceptional. That's everything I learned about him from that Hope's uh, Peak Academy thread online. Come on! We're done with intro introductions, right? How much longer are you going to stand there? Go away. I'm sick of looking at you. His aura says to me you and I will never stand on the same level. Like a king in training. Okay. I'm Yasuhiro Hagakure. Hero for short. Take it easy, yeah? I know I will. Yoshiri Hagakuri. Hagakuri? Hagakuri? Hagakuri. Yasuhiro. Yasuhiro. Hakaguri, I guess. Known as Supernova in the psychic community. The trend setting ultimate clairvoyant. Honestly, I don't really get all the fortune telling stuff, it's pretty much beyond me. Still, I can't help wondering if there's any truth to it. Could it be? Ah, okay. I give up. Huh? What happened? You're serious. I saw it. I looked right at it. Seriously, I totally saw it. So what? Hmm. A guardian angel with a crazy perm chasing after Bigfoot, running off with a ski fish in its mouth. A sky fish in its mouth. And that guardian angel is your guardian angel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. But hey, we should grab some brewskis sometime and get real deep into the Lemuria and its civilization. What? We're not allowed to drink, we're in high school. You know? Oh, I'm actually 21. I've been held back a few times. See? And, well, it's a long story. A few times, yeah, I bet that is a long story. Alright. I do not think we have been introduced. I am Celestia Ludenberg. Celestia. 
Celestia Lundu. Celestia Luden, huh? <laughs> Ludenberg. It is my name. But if you don't mind, I would prefer you to call me Celeste. Um, you are Japanese, right? Huh? Of course, why do you ask? If you don't mind, could you tell me your real name? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Celestia Ludenberg is my real name. But as I mentioned, I would much rather you call me Celeste. She's polite, but pretty forceful at the same time. I don't think she want, wants to say any more about it. I guess the rumours in that thread were right about her. The self-titled, no, the self-styled Celestia Ludenberg. She's the ultimate gambler who's never lost a bet. Other than her obvious love of gothic Lolita clothes, everything about her is wrapped in a veil of lies. They say she entered and won an underground gambling tournament, earning the title Queen of Liars. She's totally cleaned out the other players, taking their life savings and laughing as she did it. I look forward to getting to know you better. <laughs> that smile's beyond deceptive. I better watch myself around there. And with that, all the introductions are done. Hmm. Even though they're all ultimate, they each have their own individual sort of um something. Hmm. Okay, time to get down to business. This is no time to stand around making friends like a bunch of dull-eyed baboons. Oh, that's true. I think someone said something about a bigger problem or something. What was that about? Um, listen. Well, you see... Uh, um... Makoto, you said a bunch of stuff happened and then you were just asleep, right? Well, the same is true for all of us. What? Seriously? I mean, seriously? Just after each of us got, the main, got to the main hall, we lost consciousness. And then we came to. We were somewhere here in the school. Somewhere here in the school. That's what happened to you, right? But, but that's just weird. That every one of us would get knocked out like that. Piece of shit! <laughs> exactly. That's why we're all freaking out. And that's not the only thing. You saw where all the windows in the classes and hallways were, right? But instead of normal glass windows, there was a bunch of big metal plates. What's that about? Are you for real? Plus, all my stuff's missing. Even my cell phone. Um... Yeah, you're right. I haven't uh, seen my PDA anywhere, either. <clears throat> and then there's the main hall here. The front exit is completely blocked by some giant metal hatch. What does this mean? And there wasn't anything like that when I first got here. What the heck? What the heck? What's it doing there? Aww. Maybe we got caught up in some kind of, like... You know, crime or something. Is it? Like... What? Like a kidnapping? You think so maybe something... Someone grabbed us and hold us, up, hold us up and we're not actually at school? Hey, come on. Come on. Don't think we're like that. Don't think like that. Cheer up. I bet this is all just part of a school's orientation procedure. You know? Yeah, I'm sure that's it. So I'm just going to take it easy for a little bit. I see. Oh. So you think they wanted to do something to surprise us? What the hell? Huh? Well, if that's all it is, it's nap time for me. You know what I mean. I was up way too late last night, so I could use a little shut-up. I could feel everyone's tension evaporating. But then, it began. Mm. Ding dong, ding dong. Ahem, ahem, testing, testing, mic check, one, two, this is a <laughs> test of the school broadcast system. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. The voice seemed totally out of place, it was so playful, so completely unconcerned. I couldn't help but feel a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. It was like hearing someone laugh at the scene of an accident. Uh, to all incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at... Right now! Please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. That's all. I'll be waiting. Huh? What the hell was that just now? Goodbye. 
difficult then, if you'll excuse me. Hey! Hey! What, are you gonna take off just like that? Could it be? Oh yeah, now I get it. This whole thing was just to get us all pumped up for the entrance ceremony. <laughs> nah, thank god it was all a joke. I'd be totally freaked if this was real. You know? Alright, guess I'll head out too. Wonder what they got planned for us next. Huh. Ah. Uh... Damn, I was totally looking forward to that nap too. But they have to go and kill the mood. Huh? W wait, for me. I want to go with you. <laughs> that is that then. I will see you all there. Anyway. No, no, not that anyone cares, but I I'm going to go too. Everyone took off for the gym, but I was frozen where I stood. Got an easy feeling I had before. I couldn't get it out of my mind. It looked like it w I wasn't the only one. Uh, um. This doesn't seem right. This is bad. Yeah, that announcement was totally weird. However... Maybe, but just staying put doesn't mean we'll be safe. Besides, aren't you guys just a little bit curious to find out? Oh, I will do, yeah. One second. Tell me how that is. Besides, aren't you guys just a little bit curious to find out what's going on around here? I see. If we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push forward ahead. Oops. Ah, I guess she's right. But still, I'm kinda... No. Really nervous. We don't have a choice, we have to go. They said to go to the gym, right? I do. Let me know how the game audio is now. Turn down a little uh, more if it needs to go down more. Alright. Leave the area. Yes. Gotta go to the gym, right? Where is the gym? Where... Oh, I see. Okay. Just this one. Hey, <laughs> come on! God. I had no idea this Hope's Peak Academy place was going to be such a pain in my balls. It really ain't that much different from the time I spent in Juvie. Hell, this place is even worse. And why isn't there anyone here? Walking through the halls, I didn't see a single person. This is bad. Isn't that, like, seriously not good? <laughs> They're just trying to spook us. They'll take those metal plates down later, I'm sure of it. Huh. All we can do now is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. <laughs> Shit. Well, hell. Ain't like I'm scared of nothing. Let's just get this over with. Hey, damn it! Hey, where's whoever called us here? What are you thinking? Mondo, stop! No running. Well, <laughs> I too shall go. <laughs> hey, wait! Don't leave me here all alone. Okay, time for some more tutorial action. Oh great! You can press Tab key to observe the room you're in. <clears throat> Observing will display what people and objects can interact with. Sorry for the late notice. Oh, what did it just say? Display case, these are all kinds of trophies and plaques inside. Of course, all the students who go here are ultimate right. This is probably just a tiny fraction of all their awards. I oh, did that one already. This school has a lot of TVs. They couldn't all just be for that weird school broadcast, could they? All silence. 
whatever reason, she's the only one managing to stay calm. Or maybe I'm just imagining that. Interesting. Another camera up there. Another surveillance camera. I feel like we're being watched every second, I don't like it. students. Why are we the only ones here? This is bad. I'm totally getting a bad vibe right now. Uh, okay. Still filled with uneasy dread. I did what the announcement said and went to the gym. And I saw what was waiting for us there. Where it really does look like an entrance ceremony. Yo! See? Told you. It's totally normal entrance ceremony stuff. Hero was right. But in a way, that's just emphasized how completely not normal all of us were. Hey oh. there! Howdy! Hello! Is everyone here? Good! <laughs> then let's get things rolling! <laughs> little belly button. Huh? A teddy bear? I'm not a teddy bear. I am Monokuma! And I am this school's headmaster! It was the strangest thing I've ever seen. Right before my eyes, it was... What I was seeing was... It was utterly incomprehensible. Nice to meet you all. Such a bright voice and carefree attitude was completely out of place. And all that anxiety I've been carrying with me suddenly transformed into outright fear. Say what? 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 A teddy bear can talk. <laughs> Calm down. I'm sure there's a there's just a speaker inside of it. Hey. Come on now! <laughs> I told you already, I'm not a teddy bear! I'm Monokuma, and I'm your headmaster! Say what? What? It moved! <laughs> Shit. Seriously, man, calm down. It's probably some... just a remote control toy or something. How dare you compare me to a child's plaything! You've cut me deep! Deeper than the Mar Mariana Trench! My remote control system is so complex, even the folks at NASA can't recreate or even comprehend it. Ah, but don't make me say stuff that might destroy NASA's dreams. I just couldn't bear that. Well, bear that? Really? You are unfortunate. Hmm. Now then, moving on. We really must hurry and get started. Come on. Giving up already? No other stupid bear puns. Now then. Quiet down now, quiet down. Ah, okay. So, <sighs> he has abandoned the gag. Good morning! Everyone, stand at attention and bow. And good morning! You hear me? <laughs> good morning! What's your problem? You don't have to say, say it back. Now then. Now then, let us commence with the most noteworthy and memorable entrance ceremony. First, let's talk a bit about what your school life will be like. Now, uh, make no mistakes. You few students so full of potential represent the hope of the world. And to protect such splendid hope, you will all live a communal life together, solely within the confines of the school. Everyone will live in harmony together and adhere to the rules and regulations of the school. Huh? Hmm. Ah, now then. Regarding the end date for this communal life. Too bad. There isn't one! In other words, you'll all be here until the day you die! Which is the school life you've been assigned. What, what did he just say? Until the day we d die? Yep. Oh, but fear not. We have quite an abundant budget. So you won't lack for all the com common conveniences. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, that's the least of your worries right now. Hmm. 
Yeah, what the hell? You're saying I have to live here forever? You're screwing with us, right? I am not screwing with you. I am no liar. Of that you can be a hundred percent sure. Uh -huh. Oh, and just for your for your information, you're completely cut off from the outside world, so you don't have to worry about the dirty, dirty land beyond these walls ever again. Cut off. So all those metal plates all over the school. There they are again. They're there to keep us trapped. Oh, they're there to keep us trapped in here. That's exactly what they're there for. No matter how much you may yell and scream for help, help will not come. So with all that in mind, feel free to live out your life here with reckless abandon. Hey, come on. Come on. What the hell is this? I don't care if the school or whatever else is behind it at all. This is just a really bad joke. Damn yeah. you. Put this shit out. It isn't funny anymore. You keep saying this is a lie or a joke. A bunch of skeptics, all of you. What are you gonna do? But I guess you can't help it, huh? You all grew up in an age where you're taught to doubt your neighbor. Well, you'll have plenty of time to find out whether or not what I say is true. And when that time comes, you'll see with your own eyeballs that I speak the undeniable truth. Most unfortunate. Having to live here forever would be quite the problem. What's this? Come now, what's the matter with all of you? You decided of your own free will to attend Hope's Peak Academy, didn't you? And now, before the entrance ceremony is even finished, you've already decided you want to leave? Hey! Oh, um... but you know... I guess I did forget to mention one thing. There is one way for you to leave the school. <laughs> really? Actually... As Headmaster, I've crafted a special clause for those of you who would like to leave. I call it the Graduation Clause. Now then. Now, let me tell you about this fun little rule. As I mentioned, in order to maintain an environment of harmony here, we rely on commun commun no, communal lifestyle. And if someone were to disrupt that harmony, they and they alone will be allowed to leave the school. That, my students, is the Graduation Clause. What? What do you mean by disrupt the harmony? <laughs> well, you know, if one person were to murder another... M murder? Yes, indeed! Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting... How you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. <laughs> the rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. A chill shot down my spine. You must kill someone if you want to leave. As soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. <laughs> I bet that got your brain juices blowing. Beats the heck out of a human catching a salmon, huh? Like I said before, you guys are the hope of the world. But, you know... Taking that hope and seeing it get murdered creates a darkened shadow of despair. And I just find that so darn exciting! What the hell are you talking about? To kill each other, it's... it's... Huh? To kill each other is to kill each other. I'm sure there's a dictionary here somewhere if you need it. What are you saying? We know what it means. That's not the problem. Why do we have to kill each other? Say what? Yeah, stop blabbering on about all this nonsense. Just let us go home already. Blabbering. Blabbering? 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 What do you mean, blabbering? Stop blabbering on about blabbering on! You guys just don't get it, do you? Let us go. Let us go. You keep on saying the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over. Listen, from this moment on, this school is your home, your life, your world. Got it? And you can kill as much as you want to kill! So go ahead! Go on! A kill, kill, killing spree! <sighs> Alright, come on. How long are you going to keep this up? Hmm? Huh? You know? You got us, okay? You scared the hell out of us. So you can go ahead and reveal the trick now. Huh? Reveal the trick? I'm right, Yeah, because right? I mean... You know, this is all some kind of trick and all, right? So, uh, like... <laughs> Shit, dude. Shut the hell up and get out of my way. Shoving Hero aside, Mondo placed himself in front of Monu uh, Monokuma, his voice rumbling like thunder. You're fucking dead. Listen up, asshole. 
This shit's gone way too far. What the hell kind of joke is this? What's the matter? Joke? What do you mean? Like your hair? You son of a bitch! Arr! Mondo roared out, and then there was a sudden boom. It was the sound of the floorboards as he kicked off and launched himself into the air. He flew at Monokuma, fast and straight as a bullet. He locked onto his target. Gotcha, you little piece of shit! I don't know if you're a toy or a stuffed animal or whatever the hell. Either way, I'm gonna rip you to fucking shreds! <laughs> Whoa! Violence against the headmaster is in violation of school regulation! Shut the fuck up! Let me out of here, I swear to Christ! Hey, damn it! What? No smart ass comeback this time! Piece of shit! Stop that goddamn beeping and say something! Watch out! Watch out! Get rid of it! Huh? Huh? Hurry up and throw it! I don't know if her ferocity stunned him into silence or what, but without a word he did what he was told. He threw Monokuma, and as soon as he did... The hell? What the? That, that sure as shit wasn't a joke, it blew the hell up! There was a painful ringing in my ears and I could smell gunpowder. Explosions might happen all the time, in movies or whatever, but when it's in real life... I've never seen anything like it. But... but... But, you know, this means that the teddy bear's been destroyed, right? Hey! I told you! I'm not a teddy bear! I'm Monokuma! <laughs> There's another one! Damn you son you. of a bitch! You seriously tried to kill me just now! Of course! Well, yes! I was serious about trying to kill you! You did violate one of school's regulations after all! I'll let you off with a warning this time, but you better be careful from now on! Any naughty boy or girl who violates my rules won't get off with just a little swat on the butt! This is bad. Hey, so does this mean there's like a bunch more of you around somewhere? Yep. Monokumas have been placed all throughout the school, yes! Plus, don't forget the surveillance cameras installed somewhere. And if you're caught breaking any rules, well, you all just saw what happened, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I just I won't be so forgiving with my punishment next time. So don't let it happen again. Huh? That's not even punishment, that's just wrong. Well Now then, lastly, to commemorate your joyous entry into our school, I have a little something for you. This is our official student handbook, pretty cool, huh? As you can see, it's fully digital, so naturally we call it... The E-Handbook! Hmm... Hmm, well, yes. Moving on. This handbook is absolutely vital to a healthy school life, so don't lose it! When you start it up, it will display your name. Always make sure you have the right one. Now, this is not your everyday notebook. It has many more uses than that. What? Also, it's completely waterproof. Splash it, wash it, drown it, it'll keep on ticking. And thanks to its space age design, it can withstand an impact force of up to 10 tons. Very resistant. It contains all of your school regulations, so make sure you review them thoroughly. You guys. You'll hear me say this a lot, but any violation of school regulations will not be tolerated. Rules are strict, yes, but they also protect. Society, for example, will be utterly chaos without laws. Yes, indeed. The same thing applies here, which is why it's crucial we have strict punishments in place for violators. Okay, well, that brings our entrance ceremony to a close. Bye -bye. Please enjoy your abundantly dreary school life, and see ya! And with that, he was gone, leaving us all in a state of shock. So, guys, how would you define what we just experienced? It's crap. Uh, why? I don't understand any of this. We have to live here forever or get kill. What, what, what just, just happened? Calm down. Everyone, we need to just calm down. First, let's just take a second to summarize everything we just heard. 
Based on what Monokuma says, we essentially have two choices. Choice number one is that we stay, each stay here, living a communal life together until the day we die. And the other choice is... Indeed. If we want to get out of here alive, we have to kill someone, right? That's... Ugh. Killing someone, that's... We were abducted out of nowhere and stopped into this place meant to look like a school. And now we're supposed to start killing each other. This is... This is... This is just... What is this? Ridiculous. A lie. Is what it is. All these ridiculous things we've heard. This all has to be fake. Hmm. Right. Now it doesn't really matter if it's real or fake. What matters is... So in other words... Is there anyone else here who's seriously considering all this? To that, nobody had a response. Keeping quiet myself, I looked around at the others. They all started stared at one another, trying to gauge each other's thoughts. I could almost taste the hostility. And that's when it hit me. I realised the true terror hidden within the rules Mon uh, Monokuma had laid out. You must kill someone if you want to leave. Those words had planted vicious thoughts deep within each of us. Each of us became suspicious of everyone else. We were forced to wonder, is somebody going to betray us? And that was how my new school life began. This school which had come out of nowhere to raise my hopes so high. It's not a school of hope. It's a school of despair. Alright, we're going to call it there. Thank you for watching. And until next time on Borderline Games, goodbye.